it's a little three-wheeler with a big difference. It is a zero emission petrol vessel, it runs on solar power and electric power. It's taken Australian man Naveen Rabeli two years to build his dream automobile and it's almost ready to embark on the journey of a lifetime. The plan, current plan that we have is to go from Bangalore to Mumbai and ship it to Iran uh, and then from there all the way up to France and then there's a ferry that goes to uh, UK. He came up with the idea after travelling more than 500 kilometres to and from his engineering job each week when he lived in Melbourne, thinking there must be a more environmentally friendly way to get around. We want to inspire others, like, you know, if we can do, we can take a small step towards uh, preserving our environment, planet, uh, so can anyone else. It has solar panels on its roof and two on the side that flip up when it's parked to catch some extra rays. Once Naveen starts off, he'll travel 10,000 kilometres across 10 countries, but he won't be making the long journey alone. Yeah, um, no, you can always put it, it on, yeah, on, on the other side. You know, and then... Austrian filmmaker Raoul Kapaka read about Naveen's project online and asked if he could come along and document the journey. I'm actually looking forward to meeting a lot of people along the way who have similar mindsets and who are interested in similar ways of making the planet greener. It'll be cosy. The men will spend the days sitting together in the front and the nights sleeping together in the back. I mean, three months is a different thing, like stuck in one cabin for three months is a different thing, but I'm pretty confident that we'll get along, yeah. How about the couch? <laughs> it will be slow going, but for this adventurous duo, getting there is more than half the fun. The whole day we're planning to travel about 100 kilometers, and in that uh, we do with electric charge, we get about 70 to 80 kilometers, and with a solar charge, we get about 20 to 30 kilometers. So on the way, uh, there will be some points where we can't get electric plug point. So we're just hoping to rely on sun and wait for one day and travel under 30 kilometers. A big adventure awaits the little tuk-tuk that could, or at least the one that tried its best. Stephanie March, ABC News, New Delhi.